Okay, the highlights from Tuesday's session at GreatStockPicks.com. I'm going to try to go over uh, my calls, and I'm also going to go over, uh, oftentimes, I'll have the projector going and uh, project charts onto people's screens, and I'll put out ideas, even if it's something that I might not take. I'll make that very clear. Like, for instance, I don't want to trade in the first 15 minutes of the day, although I'm becoming more flexible on that because uh, once the market goes into a grind, it's hard to find setups. So. Um, I may start trading a little bit early. You never want to trade in the five, first five minutes of the day. But having said that, um, I did turn on the projector early this morning. We already had Facebook on bounce watch, okay? Meaning if it traded in a narrow range for the day and then broke its early high, it might be a nice trade. Um, but here's the daily, not much of a chart to go by, right? Went public, sold off, gap down, sold off, gap down again, and was selling off first thing this morning. All right, I brought up two minute candles and this is what it looked like. Let me try that again. This is what it looked like. And uh, over the microphone, I said, Facebook actually looks good to me on twos here, which means first break of a previous two minute candles high and your stop would go below its low. Uh, would have been a 3151 entry. Now I say that because I'm doing that for members that do want to trade. I'm, everyone in my chat room, you know, there's, there's two to 300 people in there every day. They're not all saying, hey, I don't want to trade early. Some of them like early stuff. So I try to uh, give a variety of ideas that I like. Sometimes I'm right, sometimes I'm not, uh, just like everybody else. Um, anyway, I mentioned Facebook on twos, 31.51 in the stop below the low of the day. And look at this move. From 31.51, uh, literally within a couple minutes, it was 32. And it worked its way all the way up to um, 33.59, I think. So a real nice move from 31.50 on, uh, it's about 50 cents risk, but still not too bad. Um, ARCO, show you the reason and everything. ARCO has been decimated on the daily chart. I think this is the South American McDonald's. Big volume here. And then a couple lower highs. I said over the microphone, this is putting in a five setup. I'm still not looking to trade early. Plus, this one is a little bit uh, squinky, as I like to say. 1292 would have been the trigger, though, if anyone wanted it. And uh, it ended up going to 1340 and really held up pretty well. Here's the daily on it. So uh, I believe that's the South American McDonald's. And a pretty nice setup there. Um, you know, using twos, you could probably see kind of a flag, you know, the little flag right there. Anyway. Um, what else did I call WDC actually gave a trigger and stop on this one. Now here's the reason for this one. Early on, it, it made my uh, er, early volume watch list. Okay, see the massive volume here, it's selling off. Same thing with STX. So I brought up the daily to see what it looked like. And it was coming down into the 200 day moving average right around that 33, 36 area. Okay, um, and so what I said was, I'm not willing to trade early. I wanna see what happens, okay? So I'll try to show you as it unfolded. Um, I view these red candles here at the falling uh, eight period moving average on five minute candles. I view these red candles as sellers coming in. I just want to see, I'm just a watcher here, okay? I want to see what the sellers, how strong they are. In other words, can they push it back to the lows of the day? I like the fact that it was bouncing off 200 day moving average. Real quick, I'll show you STX, same kind of deal. And these two tend to run together, same space. Selling off massive volume. I went to the daily on this one and it's hitting the 100 day moving average plus nice support at 26. So could have played either one of these. Um, matter of fact, when it was 26, I said I like it with about a 20 cent stop, but uh, my call was WDC instead. Being more conservative, I said, let's, whoops, I said, let's wait and see how the sellers pan out. Okay, so sellers are coming in and they could only push it down at this moment. Let me get my drawing tool going here. Sellers could only push it down to here. Remember, they're selling, in my opinion, because of the weak early volume, uh, expecting it to go back to the lows of the day. When it didn't go to the lows of the day, this became interesting to me as a possible long. Okay, so once it looked like this, it's trailing along the uh, the eight period moving average here. I called it over this candle. Uh, I believe it was 34.42 and the stop at 34.26 and a pretty nice and quick move to 34.76. I'm a seller into some, had my stop at break even after that and it lasted the rest of the day till the very end here when the SPY sold off. So, um, you know, a decent little trade, wasn't huge but uh, not a bad move either. I'll give you the numbers. Uh, WDC was 34.42, 16 cents risk, and it went to 34.88. All right, uh, nothing huge, but anyway. Um, HP was a call that I made, was uh, very strong. It came down and it became interesting to me right here. Very organized pullback. I called it when it looked like this on the way back up. I called um, HP at 46.97. So when it hit there, it went to, it only went to uh, 47.16, so not even quite 20 cents. Uh, so when it came back to my entry, it didn't, I just went ahead and killed it, uh, as I said in chat. So I took a flat there. Um, 
One of our members suggested, why don't we short it if it breaks down through that 520 and uh, brilliant, but uh, it wasn't a call. Anyway, so a flat there. Um, Urban, I, I still contend this was one of my best ideas of the day, even though it didn't make much money. Urban, very strong, URBN, Urban Outfitters. Okay, it's grinding along, and then the SPY starts to push down. When I have a list of strong stocks like this with massive volume, and the SPY starts to push down, I go to that list of strong stocks and look for them to come up like maybe into the 20-day moving average, okay? So when this uh, starts pushing down, I know 2780 area is the... Uh, is the um, 520, the five period, uh, five minute candle, 20 period moving average, okay? I'm gonna find it, okay, so this is exactly what it looked like. Actually looked like this, and I said I liked it right around 27.82 with about a dime stop. Might have said 15 cent stop, can't remember. And the reason is, um, the SPY took it down, but it's extremely strong. I already know it's near the 20 moving average on five minute candles, and very nice support right here, at 2780 okay look at that very nice support from earlier you can see it when you go to one minute candles so I actually mentioned over the mic I like it right here about a 10 or 15 cent stop and look I mean within within three minutes it's back up to 28 now if you watch and then it went sideways forever and then comes down it did hold the 15 or 20 cent stop and then went back up and took out the highs of the day so but the reason I say I think it was my best call of the day is because it was so incredibly low risk there um, really had about a dime risk and at support using one minute candles. I mean, it's just, I love buying stuff like that at the bottom of a range on a strong stock. See, a lot of people look at this and think, hey, we're rolling over. I look at that and think, hey, the SPY is bringing it down into a buy zone. And really, you could make the argument that Urban was just in a range. So instead of thinking this is rolling over, I think, hey, I've got support here. Great buy with a stop just below support. Very low risk. And if you look at it, uh, right back through the high of the day. Now, it wasn't huge, but still a uh, very intelligent type entry there. Those are the ones I, I absolutely love. Um, JPM, I mentioned on this pullback, I think right around here with a 15 cent stop. So there's an example. Don't have the numbers in front of me, but right here it would have stopped out, ended up getting back through the highs of the day, but not before stopping out. Um, Starbucks during lunch. Starbucks, uh, the market was pushing down again. Um, I switched to two minute candles on Starbucks right here, which was right around noon. And I typed in the chat that I really liked, uh, or that, well, how did I word it? Starbucks, very interesting on twos. It was a lunchtime trade or getting close to the lunchtime slowdown. Um, but I still put forth the idea in chat, um, which would have been 5361. Remember, twos means the first break of a previous two minute candles high. 5361, worst case stop, 5351. A dime risk. And all the way back up through 54 on very little risk. A very nice move in Starbucks. Uh, running out of wind here. Let me see what else. Um, that might have been it. WFT I also mentioned as a possible long right when it looked like this. Before that green candle got put in. 1282, 1275. I said I'm going to paper trade it because I was experimenting with something, but you had support right here, and it did get over 13 after that, so it still could have been a nice trade. And then the call of the day, I wish I could say it was me, but it was one of our all stars, B Turk. Okay. Um, I know you saw the Coles getting killed today, PCX talking about bankruptcy. Um, B Turk, one of our all stars, different colored font. Uh, matter of fact, I might be able to find it. There it is. I took a screenshot of it. It's called BTU 98 low of day stop. Now, of course, that's shorthand for 2298. Okay. And there's the trigger low of day stop, which means uh, 2892 trigger. Wait a minute. Okay. Sorry about that. 2298 trigger stop 14 cents below at the low of the day. And look what happens. Um, Beautiful, beautiful move there. And I mean, within uh, these are five minute candles. So within about 10 minutes, it goes from uh, B Turk's idea 2298 to 2417, which equates to a dollar 19 a move, uh, move in our favor on 14 cents risk. So again, hats off to B Turk. Beautiful call there. Um, that might be it, guys. That might be it. I think I've gone over everything from the day. Yep, that's it. I think so. Super nice day. Uh, we'll talk to you guys later.